Hi guys, today we'll talk about some tips in video editing that will help you if you are a beginner in video editing and you don't know a lot of information, you may waste your time in editing. We can talk about some tips today that will make your editing more faster and more professional. You may find that things you don't know and it's very crucial and you must know because it's very important in editing. First, when you are shooting a video or your client shoot a video and send you the video and also more audio file for the mic, not from camera mic. So you will find that he will give you the video like that and he will give you also audio file for the mic professional mic here because the video has a camera mic only with directly the voice and also the movie or the footage and drag it in timeline after dragging the audio and the video you want to synchronize you this audio and also camera audio after that, I can drag this audio at the past the people are using some things and some ways to make synchronization for audio to so the audio file here for my match is the main video here see the audio waves here and start to make synchronization but it takes a lot of time and it may fail or may not be very accurate so we have a very easy way to make synchronization for audio we should select two videos here and make right click and you will see synchronization here and you will select the audio track here one and make ok it will make synchronization for the audio in seconds so it will not waste your time so you will find here that audio waves are matched first deselect everything and like this audio here and that so we want to get rid of this audio from camera so we will drag this audio above it hold down your shift k and drag it above so it will not move left or right and after that you can select two layers and make a link or oh, make a link not group when you make any cut it cuts two layers and when you move video layer it move also the audio so that's the first tip because when you work as a video editor with any client he will send you two files the first one is video and the second one will be the audio from mic second tip is the music you can you must use music for any movie so let's say that your client is talking about birds so when you want to get footage and you have any membership in any paid website for stock footage you can go to there is a lot of websites here like pixabay Pixab here so we can go to videos and start downloading any video we want i want to make get video for birds for, so i will search here for birds and after that i will download my video in the quality we want i will choose any quality to make it download fast to show you guys and after that i will drag this video in my timeline it's so it will show now that so we will see that there is a problem here which is this video don't match this sequence so we can scale it here like that and then we can see So let's compare video with this audio and this sound for birds and without this sound. I will deselect this and see the difference. There is no emotions, there is no entertainment when you are watching the video because there is no voice. But when you add audio for the thing you see in video, it will make a very difference for anyone who watches the video in YouTube so it will not make any poor parts in your video so that's the second tip to use music in your videos so you will not get bored or feel that your videos is not okay so and it makes a very good it's make a really good emotions and your video make sure you use music and to get music there is a lot of websites also this website it's just Bixabay, Bixabay here Bixabay.com you can get any music for or sound effects here it's a very easy and fast website 
so you can search for any music or any sound effects you want and you can download it, search for it here and download it. so now we can move to the next step which is change the level of your audio here so for beginners when they want to make a change for the audio level they make a cut in audio like that and after that they change the volume from here or go to audio clip mixer here and reduce this value here so it's not the best way to make move from high audio level to low audio level because you may have a video here for your client or the person who are talking on the video and he stopped talking so you may raise this audio level and after beginning to talk in the video you can reduce or decrease this value for audio level so there is will be cut like cut here in the audio so you must fix that to fix that don't make any cuts in audio track let it like that complete and you can use your selection tool and hold down your, your control and you will see this plus here the mouse here so you can make like keyframes for this audio like that so you can change it and make it something like smooth or easy easy is for audio so this will not be cut or anything strange for the audio live so you can see now when we make something like that for this part so it start to reduce the audio very smoothly not cut there is no cuts or strange sounds so we can compare we if we make the cut here and reduce this we can see you see this cut as a professional video editor you can't make something like that because it will show your clients that you are not the best one and the next step for audio also when you have any audio here you must fade your audio in and out so like something like that you can make keyframes of to fade in and fade out like that i will make keyframe here and also second keyframe which is will be the first one here and we can drag this something like that so there is will be like fade in so there is will not be something strange at the first video of the video and it will be more cinematic and it will be really professional and or you have second choice for fading for fading in your audio just go to effects and search for constant power you will see this course fade there is two effects here for gaining or making a fade and for the audio you can drag this here and you will see that there is a fade in here so it makes the same thing and if you want to change the time of fading you can drag this transition here closer or farther to the beginning of the video so it will change the time of the fading effect same thing for the end of the video you can make the keyframes or dragging this constant gain or constant power i prefer constant power in my status and you can try this couple effects here and choose what you see is the perfect you will see this line here which is a fading and our next step today using shortcuts for your, for your edit so when you use shortcuts for something like add edit or cut for your video to make a cut for the video it's not the best way to use this razor tool here to make any cut for your video because it will waste your time when you make cut and edit a text or anything you want and you want to make a cut again it will be wasting time so i prefer using shortcuts from keyboard and also change the shortcuts it will be easy for you so our default shortcut for making cut for your for your video will control k that is the default shortcut but i think it's very hard because there is very big distance between control and l so it may be more confusing to use control l and after that you will prefer to use this other tool here don't skip this shortcut you can edit this shortcut from going to edit keyboard shortcuts and after that you can search for the shortcut you want to, you want to change something like add edit which is adding the cut for you for your video for me i make it e from keyboard so when i press e it make cut you will make double click and write any shortcut you want and after that make okay i am pressing e from keyboard so it's very very easy to make any cut you want so that's our tutorial guys for the tips i want to give you for editing and if you want another tutorial in this specific question which is how i can edit faster and more professionally you can make a comment asking us to make another tutorial for you in this topic so thank you guys for watching and see you next time